Hello and welcome to the first episode of the spring season. We've got a lot in store for you. Tell me something, sports. Are you ready for Lions Report? Well, now it's spring season. Dr. Kelly's got the field open. Spring season. Baseball, softball, and ultimate golf and lacrosse. Volleyball, tennis, crew, rugby, track. I'm on the bleachers watching the Lions. I love the spring season. Don't move a muscle, don't get out your seat. It's all coming at you right now. And now we take you over to Four Acres for girls lacrosse first masters. Here we have Sadie Warshaw picking up the ground ball and taking it behind the goal. With no one guarding her, she goes straight to the goal and scores. And now here's Claire Griffin on the penalty shot. She takes it past her defender and scores on the bouncer. And next here's Diana Sherry taking the ball up. She finds Casey Lutnick with the open look on the crease and Casey scores. And here's Diana again taking the ball up. She runs past the defender. And now with no one on her, she shoots and puts it in the back of the net. Diana again with the ball, and looking to make a play on offense, she takes it behind the net. And with the Masters defense caught up in confusion, she takes it right to the goal and scores. And next, here's Sophia Subranamium with the ball. Looking to get something going in offense, she takes it up the right side of the field and passes it to Alex Reich, who, despite having a defender on her, snipes it top left. The Lions had a great day on both offense and defense and won by a final score of 10-5. Of course, man, boys varsity volleyball team against Eunice. You're going to see some beautiful teamwork between Sam Benchimal, Stuart Hughes, and Sean Coons. This is the second time they're returning it, and Sean Coons with the kill. Another serve by Eunice. Sean Coons with the return. Antonio Naya with the bump. And Evan Wu is going to step up for the Lions. He's got one touch there. It's going to come back to him. He's got another touch to go over the net. And finally, his last one to get the point for Horace Mann. James Gluck with the serve for Horace Mann. He's got an ace for his first serve of the match. Now he goes again. He's going to start off a nice rally. Eunice is going to pass it around a bit, send it back over the net to Sam Benchamal. Then we've got Matthew Kaufman with the touch over the net back to Eunice. Eunice is going to send it way past the line and out for a point for Horace Mann. Now we've got Stuart Hughes with the serve. He's got a nice setup. He sends it over the net. An easy point for Horace Mann. We go on to win 3-0. And now we take you over to Four Acres for boys lacrosse for its fieldston. Here we have defenseman Jules Rapkin early in the first quarter taking the ball up the field. He rolls past his first defender, gets past the next defender, shoots it, and puts it in the back of the net. The Lions again on offense. Here we have Matthew Dichter taking the ball up. He finds Henry Harris for the open look and Henry scores, doing a little celebration afterwards. And now, late in the fourth quarter, the Lions down by one. Davis Parzik takes it to the goal and puts it in the back of the net. They'll score now tied at 7-7, and because no team was scoring the remaining 50 seconds, this game is going to overtime. The game is now in sudden death, and the Lions are on defense, but Josh Cow picks up the ground ball and passes it to fellow senior captain Davis Parzik. Davis taking the ball up now, with nothing but open space in front of him and a field from the defender at his heels. He shoots it and scores, and the whole team celebrates behind the goal. Final score, 8-7, Lions win. The Horace Mann girls rugby team. That's right, you heard it, Horace Mann rugby. Lions support cannot be more excited to start commentating this new and exciting Lions team. To start off, we've got Horace Mann taking over possession in the rock. You'll get a tackle, and finally you'll see Kate Finer securing the possession and going for a try. Kate Finer to Katha Mignone is going to pass out to Makaya Chang who runs through defender. And now we take you down to Van Cortland Park for Ultimate Frisbee vs Regis. The Lions on defense and they're doing a good job of preventing Regis from advancing the Frisbee forward. And now Henry Wildermuth playing tighter press defense and he knocks down the Frisbee and causes a turnover. The Lions again on defense, the Regis player can't find any teammates open near him so he launches it to a teammate down the field. But the Lions get there first and swat the Frisbee out of the air. 
Ultimate Frisbee has had a very good year so far, being 4-1 coming into this game. And now after a Regis turnover, the Lions are on offense, with Gabe Hernandez picking up the Frisbee. And Gabe, taking his time, is looking to look around for any open teammate near him, but as he doesn't see any, he launches the Frisbee down the field to Nick Marrera. And Nick makes a big catch, but unfortunately he steps out of bounds. However, Regis would ultimately win this game by a score of 11-9. to Taking you now to the Horace Mann Lions baseball team versus Trinity. To start off, we've got Siraj Khaki at bat. He hits a nice line drive to left field. It goes right past the Trinity shortstop. And now we're going to take the Horace Mann in the field. Ryan Webb on the mound. Ryan had a great game pitching for the Lions. Trinity pops the ball up and Mark Fernandez on first is going to grab it for the out. Here we've got a beautiful moment between Webb and the catcher, Adrian Arnibaldi. If you ever need a pep talk, Adrian's your man. Check out Ryan Webb with one strike for the Lions following their chat. And then a second strike for a strike out for the third out of the inning. Lions would go on to win 5-0 against Trinity. 